Hola, I'm Darkies and welcome to my studio. Today's painting was inspired by the elegant sea star. And I'm using Pantone's Under the Sea color palette. Although I'm not using all of the colors since I excluded the yellow and the green. For paints I'm using Lucas. And for brushes I use whatever generic brushes I have available. I want my sister to be centered and somewhat even, so I'm using the ruler to measure the arms. Here I mix the light gray to do the outline. And this is what the final painting is gonna look like. So, what I like about the elegant sea star is the two-tone design and not necessarily the color I mean, I do like the red and white, but not for this particular painting. Now I'm just making adjustments. Here I start mixing black, cobalt blue, turquoise, to get a Turkish sea blue color. Since I already know the layout of my design, I start laying down my darker values. I move on to lay down my base or what I also call color blocking. Next, I add cut yellow to make my coral. And to make the outline, I use black. And the reason is that I've noticed that whenever I use a darker value and I lay down the gold, it looks much better on a darker background. Here I'm outlining the roses to figure out how many I want to put on each arm and also to place my darker values. Turquoise, white, and now I mix them to create my limpet shell. Here I'm trying to match the color and also the value. I usually just eyeball it and as long as it's close enough, it's good to me. Here I'm using Thalo Blue as a glaze. I 
I move on to combining a mix of white, vermilion, cut yellow, and black. And I mix them to create a dark orange for better contrast. So I always thought that sea stars didn't have eyes, but I just learned that their eyes are at the end of their arms. Did you guys know that? Thank you, Google. Whenever I'm working on a painting, I always like to do a bit of research. And besides finding reference pictures, if it's an animal, I also look at diagrams of the anatomy, as it helps me better understand the subject matter and what I'm painting. I use the palette knife to shape the roses. And now it's time for some gold. I add it randomly to some roses and also as an outline around the border. And I add a little bit of water to make it flow better. Here is the finished piece. And I'm really loving how the collection is coming together. The gold gives it a finished look and the hints of coral and Turkish blue are a great match. And, of course, if you get on my email list, you'll get all sorts of unadvertised goodies not available to the public. And don't forget that it's okay to start ugly. <laughs>